What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Dragon Quest 8 once again to me, the Lonesome Rabbit. Now, guys and gals, you join me once again within this beautiful little game as I hopefully have now solved the little bit of a quality issue we had with the very first episode. Now, um, I don't really know what happened with the footage. I, I have no idea if it was um, just kind of like how the game came out or just maybe some kind of like issue I had in the settings of the game console or something like that. I don't really know how it came out so like weirdly grainy and pixely and stuff. I just really couldn't do anything with it. Um, now, the, the weird thing is I, I recorded like Dark Cloud 1 and 2 and stuff in like, exactly the same same kind of like settings per se and nothing like that ever came out so I'm quite surprised this the kind of weird colors kind of came out like that but I didn't hear any guys actually complain or if any said anything bad about it so I'm, I'm, I'm okay with how it came out I suppose but yeah so um Anyway, but yeah, so anyway, guys and girls, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be wandering around, having a good game around Fairbury, and uh, how have you pronounce it? Fair, Fairbury? Fairbury? I'm not too sure. But uh, we're going to wander around and quickly grab all of our lovely gubbins, which we know are around and about as your place. Um, but yeah, so anyway, guys and girls, hope everyone's doing have a lovely day or night or afternoon with you guys doing right now. Um, I have to admit, I've just woke up from a bit of a nap. I came home from work and for some reason I was tremendously tired. I fell asleep and I was like, oh shit, I need to record. So this episode may be a touch late, um, as per uh, the usual, my little uh, kind of stand -up, standard kind of. Uh, Think of doing stuff, but um, yeah, so anyway, but uh, no, I hope you guys have a lovely day and afternoon. What are you guys doing and enjoying your lovely time? And I'm prepared for some lovely, lovely Dragon Quest, anyway. So, uh, I'm trying to think if we actually should worry about talking to random things. Let's just talk to this lady. Hello, Grandma. I saw that monster that everyone was chased out of town. It was only a puny thing. I felt quite sorry for it. I'm, I'm not too sure you really felt quite sorry for it. You were aggressively shouting at him last time, anyway. So, let's mysteriously jump up the behind this guy. He should be like, Wag one. Oh, am I looking for something a bit special? I think this guy's been a bit cheeky, if you know what I mean. I see. Well, I can help you out then, but it's going to cost you, let's say, 500 gold coins. Oh, no. How silly of me. I just sold the last one I had in stock a moment ago. <gasps> oh. I'm afraid you're out of luck. If you come back in the evening, maybe I'll be able to help you out then. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. So, basically, uh, I, I'm not really going to plan to actually come back to the evening for him, because all he actually does uh, give us is, he, he sort of like tells us to go somewhere at a certain time to pick up like a recipe, uh, which is that you will, will, will do eventually anyway, but basically it's like a recipe for this kind of like, uh, like alchemy pot I think it's called or something like that, I'm not too sure, but it's all like just basically gives us a bunch of, um, it gives us, it's, it's like an item in which can merge stuff together and actually make other things, if that makes sense. We don't actually get given it from him, we get given a recipe by him, so, um, yeah, it's not quite as desperate, but we, we, we will need that recipe later on, anyhow. Uh, pardon me. Alright. An antidotal herb, yay! Thank you very much. Cheers. The lady stood there like, You just robbed my home! Please get out! Uh, people talk of this big castle somewhere off to the west. What? Which way's west? You haven't got much sense of direction, have you? The gate just outside of my pl place here is the, is the, what? Is the west gate. The other gate that leads out of town is the south gate. Now, I don't think you can get to the castle. There's a ravine, uh on the way that you can't get across. <gasps> dun dun dun! Why can't you get across the ravine? It's mysterious, it's storylines, do do do! It is actually explaining stuff, which I, I, I will I will show you guys later on and stuff, but um, yeah, so anyway, I'm, I'm sort of like trying to ponder if there's anything I can read to update you guys on as to what we are going to be doing today. Um, as, I'm, as I said, I'm going to try and get all the items and stuff around here. I probably will start to explore around the area as well, because I want to make sure I get like all the stuff before I enter the place, I know the actual dungeon, because the dungeon is it's actually quite hard, and it's been a while since I've actually even been in combat, if that makes sense. Obviously, obviously, all we've done so far is face those three slimes, and it's been like 40 minutes. Um, I promise there is a lot of combat in this game, we just sort of seem to have avoided it so far. But, uh, we'll get there, we will, we will get there. That's all 20 gold, yes. But this is kind of the standard in, in this kind of game, you sort of enter a new place, you're just like, you know what, I will, I will raid all these places, steal everyone's shit. I'm sure they won't mind. Um, but we do get, got like a fair amount of quite good stuff here, because we do get a, there's a... There's like, there's like a new shield for both um, uh, Booker and Yangus. There's like a helmet which I think we can find for Yangus as well. Um, there is a a fair amount of medicinal herbs and stuff. Uh, is there, I don't think there's any point in us really raiding this place just yet. Um, yeah, because I don't think there's anything we actually get on this side. Basically, if you guys remember, there's those, there's those chests like in the back area of the weapon shop. Um, those can't actually be got to until you get like a key later on. And oddly enough, to make that key later on, you actually have to. Um, use the recipe which you're given here uh, later on to go use that to make the key and stuff. It's called like a thief key or something like that which sort of gives it like unlockable powers and stuff but um, yeah. Sorry love, I don't know if I've actually broken them ones already. I know I didn't break the ones back there but um, cool cool. How you doing love? Quiet day? I'm sorry we're closed during the day. Are you serious? Christ. That's a dedicated bar. Like we will only have people pissed at night in our town. Alright. 
But uh, yeah, guys and gals, I hope everyone's having, having a lot of day, day nights or afternoon, whatever you guys are doing right now. It took me a fair while to get back into the swing of this whole YouTube stuff. Um, as, as you guys know, I've had a fair amount of time off and shebang, so it's been a bit of a, a weird period of time. But uh, yeah, so it's kind of nice to be back, back into it, playing a game which I really adore and stuff, and really just, just generally enjoy, uh, enjoy playing. I'm like a dolly. Anyway, I'm seeing part 10 goals. Hello, my friend. I oh, always got to see a customer, but I'm afraid we don't open until the evening. You could, uh, you could amble around town till then, or have a rest of the inn. You, you could get a nap in before the evening. Ooh, cheeky, cheeky. I actually may potentially do that, to be fair. I mean, it's going to cost us a couple of coins and stuff, but I may as well actually do that just to get the um, items which we will need to get here anyway. So, I think we've done that one already. Uh, we searched the great Kaldarash's house, so we don't need to go in there. Don't think we've been in here yet, I'm not too sure. Hello, he's like, oh god, it's him, he's the one that's been stealing stuff. I saw it in my own eyes, the very night before the fire it was. Rylus was arguing with that jester. He sounded mighty angry. Still up to your devious tricks, are you? He was saying, oh, dog. So, Dormagus is basically the guy, the bad guy who we hear about has been doing some nasty stuff, and, and now, by the looks of it, has possibly killed Rylus as well. Um, he is dressed a little bit like a jester. He sort of like, doesn't look specific. Well, I said doesn't look like a specific jester. He does really look like a jester, but he's still got like a bit of like a sorcerer look to him at the same time as being a jester kind of style. Um, but yeah, so... Okay, that's all cool, that's all cool. Cheers, laddie, cheers, laddie. Thank you very much for letting me steal your stuff. I greatly appreciate it. Just let me uh, open up this door and I'm good. So, um, yeah, so, I'm trying to think of this, like, of something we should... <sighs> um, what I can, yeah, uh, hmm. See, another special item, which the guy down there, uh, oh, down there, the, the armor shop guy, tells us to go get, is actually up here. Uh, sorry, my, oh, oh, sorry, my hard drive's making a weird noise. Um. But yeah, so like it's actually up there, and we can only get like up and literally up in that like uh, bell tower just there. So there's not really too much point in us going up there, or even searching the church until we actually get to nighttime, because I know for a fact the recipe is not there until the evening per se. So if we actually quickly go have a, a quick tip map, and we'll uh, see what we can do. To be fair, I don't actually know if you can actually buy anything from the bar. I just I just randomly thought about that because I think you, you you don't have to drink alcohol. There's like never a point which you need to do that. Um, you buy food from. Uh, you, know, you don't really buy food at any point, you can still buy cheese or make cheese at one point, but yeah, because you don't really have used medicinal herbs or spells to heal yourself up, so. Oh, I don't think I've done. Oh, ah. Ooh, ah, uh, just a little bit. Ah, actually, yes, what I'll do is I'll actually quickly search back there, because I'm pretty sure there's something half decent in that little uh, sack of his back there. Anyway. Do -do 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 -do. It does, it does feel pretty cool playing this game again. I'm not going to lie, ladies and gentlemen. It's been way too long since I've played it, and it's just such a pleasure to be playing it for the channel as well. So, I do hope you guys, do hope you guys are enjoying it and stuff. I, I know it can be kind of a, a strenuous thing to sort of see me go for another series. I know how it is. I'm a strenuous man with some money in my pocket. Free gold? Is that a bloody hell? Fucking hell. Thanks, laddie. How funny, that's the back door you came through. Would you mind going back out and coming through? Oh, I, thought, I swear sometimes they serve you through there. Anyway, what a cheeky bastard with some money in his pocket. Keep up. Okay, let's go around. Do do. What are you, what are you saying, Grizzly Man? Hey, what you reckon, eh? There was a fire here the other day, and then the freaking monster never turned, turned up. Things haven't been quite right since around here since that clown came to town. <laughs> since that clown. Uh, come to think of it, I ain't seen him for a while now. Where's he got to? Where's he got to? It's weird they actually link it to just one random person coming to town dressed as a clown. I guess it's kind of ideal if it. I mean, memorable if this person dressed as a clown, but still. It's uh, a bizarre thing to remember. Anyway, or just be like, this is because of this, because of a clown. Anyway. So I would like to rest until evening, please, for six gold. I'm glad you're covering half of that with the money I found in your bloody sack round back. Uh oh. What is Cheeky Trodane doing? So what he is making just there is the, I think it's called the alchemy pot, I can't remember if it is or not, but basically that's the place in which we make all of our items and stuff, and like mix them all together, mix, mix them all together and stuff to sort of like make our items and stuff, which is pretty cool. Um, cheers laddie, I did, thank you all, have a good one. Oh, it's a mysterious traveller. I can't believe it, after all this time. Oh, excuse me, my troubles are no concern of yours, don't mind me. Oh, okay. See ya! <laughs> Alright. So, yes, I'm trying to think of, like, as, to what, as, as to whether there's any, like, because there's plenty of areas around side, outside the area of Fairbury, which we can explore to get, like, extra items and stuff, but I'm not entirely too sure as to where they really should be, as in where, like, the best places to go from. Uh, have I done this portal? Always a good bit of time to do some, uh, uh little, uh, uh, keg smashing, you know what I mean? Um, 
yeah, I'm, I'm not too sure, like, as to where, like, the best items were and stuff. Because there, there are some decent items, like, out around the place, but a lot of it is mini medals. And if you guys don't know what mini medals are, mini medals are the, like, somewhat, like, collectibles in this game, where you can then take a mini medals and take them to a certain person and trade them in for, like, more, kind of, random items, if that makes sense. A lot of time, the items they give you are kind of, like, either unique or rare or something like that. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. I think it's a pot lid, this is. Oh, I'm a bit of medicinal herb. Medicinal compounds. Hey, hey, farmer. I expect you've heard the sad news already. Rylus passed away in the fire a few days ago. Some people say it was the work of a criminal, but I pray such trouble. Allegations are ill-founded. Forgive me for sounding un unfriendly, but you must, um... Wait, what's what? what what's, I, I wasn't probing, I just came to talk to you. But forgive me for sounding unfriendly, but you must stop your probing into this affair and leave town, please. Oh, that's a... If you stay here, I fear even more terrible... Wow, alright, you fuck the dickhead. Christ. Man, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna rob the shit out of you now. <laughs> alright. I think it's Wayfair's clothes. Polyd, there we go, that's what I want. Polyd is the big man on campus, we'll be one for a sec there. Alright. Uh, so that's locked as well. We need like a thief's key to get into that bad boy too. I know for a fact there's a mini medal in there. So if we quickly just go grab the thief's key recipe, just we have that for later on. Uh, there we go, there it is. Looking all cheeky and stuff on the floor, excuse me. Booker finds a feast key recipe and puts it in his bag. Uh, that's literally all that guy would go on about, though. He literally sort of says, Hey, if you want something mysterious and when you, you want to do something special, you should, you should go up to the tower at night. And I'm like, Okay, sure. And that's literally all there's there. So, um, it sort of saves us having to have, go back and have that conversation and come back again. But what we'll do is, once we've popped out of here, we'll equip all of our stuff which we can for the characters, because we haven't actually equipped any of our like new stuff to anyone yet. So, we'll see what we can do. Okay. Alright, because basically there is a way for us to get kind of the best of the best armor and like swords and weapons on stuff like now, if that makes sense, rather than just having to like save up and grind and stuff for it. Because um, most of the items are actually nearby, which I do find kind of like an interesting kind of concept. And a lot of stuff we don't need is like kind of what we have now already. So if actually... Okay, I, I'm always, I always forget that circle is also X, if that makes sense. So I'm going to move... Transfer this to... Yang is just there. Okay, and there's a way I like to have my weapons sorted out, but I'm not going to do that just yet, so I'm going to transfer this across to... I don't think it's... Yeah, because some shields and swords and stuff can only be equipped to certain people. It's so, like the pot lid, for some reason, can only be equipped to Yangus, which I, I guess is kind of ironic, because he's quite uh, tubby and stuff himself, but... Anyway, there we go. Yes, please. Thank you. Are. Okay. So that's all actually all we really have at the moment, because I mean, they've got the, the sword's obviously pretty good, but a uh, cheap sword of the, of, of the kind used by low ranking palace guardsmen. Damn, I'm a low ranking palace guardsman? What a twat! Um, Alright, let's pop uh, this into Yang's cemetery as well, because he might need that later on. Um, okay, so I think, really, to be fair, all we need to do now is just sort of like take our time and just sort of wander out into the wilderness and just try and find some extra stuff. Um, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, cool, 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 cool. Because, I mean, the best thing we need to sort of have ready and stuff at the moment is we do need to have some kind of realm of, like, health healing spell for at least one of them. And, again, Yang's is one is actually not the hardest, but... He looked like a fellow Master Rider. Well, he looks a lot like a fellow Master Rider uh, as an apprentice once, although he was far more mild-mannered than that jester. Yes, he was very mild, uh, very timid. Uh, didn't have a lot of... A lot of punch? Didn't have a lot of punch, still people can change, can't they? Question mark, da 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 Alright. There we go, I was, I was curious if they did actually sell stuff still at night. Um, yeah, so I thought this guy's, yeah, he's got like the medicinal herbs and the chimera wings, all that stuff, that's cool, cool. Um, so if we go see the armor guy, because this guy, this guy has basically like a lot, of, a lot of sets of stuff for all of us, but it's quite weird how like the, the, the best thing that you can get here, armor-wise, is just for Booker, and then like the Secondary armor for like Yangus is actually quite cheap. Like, I mean, there's something that's something we actually could get. I think we can find it because like that's because that one's that that can only be equipped to Booker, and that one can be equipped to um, Yangus. So we will wait for that one for now. But uh, yeah, I, I thought Yangus already had that. That's that's cool. That's cool. Um, I can't remember. I know. Okay, what we'll do is I'm gonna have a, we're gonna have a quick explore. We're just with the stuff we've got now. Um, we will actually be leaving out the other exit as well, not towards the uh, cave as well, uh, just to see if there's anything in that direction too. Because I know there is a couple of items that sort of like hidden out and about the place. But I mean, if we can't find anything, we can't find anything. And as well as night time, so I may as well get fucked over here. We'll find out. But um, even if we can just get a little bit of experience and come back, it won't be too bad. And as well, it'll be a good time to actually show you guys some of the bloody combat. All we've done so far is we've just gone like, hey, we beat up some slime. We've wandered around town. 
that's about it. <laughs> anyway. Ah, but I think you have got lost. Right, let's go to the waterfall cave and see if we can find that crystal ball. Media and I will be right behind you. If you have any trouble, feel free to consult us. I'm sure there's nothing we can solve together, but if we put, if we put our heads together. Anyway, away we go. So, uh, that's just, yeah, general kind of stuff. So we, I've actually, I actually have taken the wrong exit, but at the same time, I just realized actually this is the better exit because the other exit leads to pretty much a dead end as to where we can't go any further. Um, so... Christ, now I really have to kind of remember exactly where all the extra bonus stuff is. Because I, I used to, I followed like a just, uh, like a strategy guide last time, and I don't really want to do it this time. Um, just because I know for a fact that I'll, I'll find things a little bit too easy, and I don't want to be seem like I'm literally just running through the game um, incredibly easy. Now, oh, this could actually, this could actually generally be quite a, like a, a strenuous fight. Anyway, um, all right, let's just let's just kind of because I haven't got any abilities as such. There's no real point in me psyching up, so I'm just going to attack on both bubble slime for now. See, we, we could very easily get kind of quite fucked up here, because, I mean, the, the medicinal herbs are good, uh, but they really only heal... They'll heal both of us, like, fully if we use one of them. Well, it's not both of us, very, sorry, but, like, if we use, like, one of them, it will heal whoever we use on fully, if that makes sense. But, uh, yeah. It would be much better if we do do all this, like, fighting and stuff, like, training, not training, per se, uh, at night, just because that will give us plenty more XP, so... Hopefully, anyway, because I mean, enemies are naturally harder and stuff, so... Alright, go on, laddie. Nicely done, nicely done. So there are a good couple of enemies in this kind of like region as well, which have like weird, well not weird per se, but really fucking annoying like, um, kind of like ultimate attacks so that can be done really quickly and just do a shit ton of damage, which is bloody annoying. Um, like say for example, I'm pretty sure there's one, I think it's a bunny, like a bunnycorn or something like that. Um, he can like strike, oh, oh that's a bird, I don't know what the hell that was then. Um, he can like attack you like with his horn or something like that and does a tremendous amount of damage. Ah. No, I don't, I, well, I'll check to see if they can open this, but I'm pretty sure this is one that has to be open with a Thief's Key, but I'll have a gander. Um, so yeah, so all, all these kind of chests are just kind of sat- Oh, Capishums. Capishums. Um, okay, that's cool, that's cool. Um, alright, let's, let's just kind of, I guess we keep sticking with our tactic. I mean, as long as I don't do eh, two damage, I can deal with that. It's not too bad. One damage? Okay, so these guys are a like, lot tougher. Five, they've got reasonably good defense, I guess. Yangus is like, motherfucker. Um, sweet. I got remember my favorite weapons for Yangus, uh, which is probably the areas I might focus on, is, this, is his scythes. Uh, but I'm not entirely too sure if that is his actual strongest weapon he can get. Uh, so I may, I may refer back to the guy just to double check to see which one is his strongest weapon, per se. Because uh, then obviously we can double check to make sure I'm not wasting any time by uh, doing anything bad. So we should be all good I think for now. Like, we can take a good couple of hits. We got them hard drive people making weird noise. There we go. So I have a cable for it to put touch loose. There we go. All right. Beautifully done. But yes, yeah, so I'm pretty sure, like, what's our, do we have any, yeah, that makes sense, we've got no abilities, we don't have any spells. It's literally just, we have to learn a lot of stuff at this point, and then eventually build up. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll use a, uh, a medicinal herb after this. I should be fine for this one, but I was going to say, I'd be, I'd be very surprised if we did five damage. I mean, he could have, he could have easily got a critical hit on me and done that, but I'm quite relieved he didn't. Anyway, da 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 Fantastic. Level two. Hey, that's quite good. That's dun 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 Fantastic. There we go. Do they have any... No? Okay, sweet. I'm not too sure when they actually start getting skill points. Basically, what skill points are in the game is they kind of... Um, okay, I was just curious if that actually did heal them at all or anything, but... Um, doo -doo -doo. Okay, well, 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 Yang seems alright. Because I think Yang's got better defense anyway, so he should be okay. But, um... Yeah, so like, I was curious if like when they get to level up straight away now... Ah, titties. It's a shame. Um, yeah, so basically we do need the, I think it's like the Thief's Key or the Magic Key for that one. There's kind of different grades of, like, kind of keys we can find, and, like, the keys can be used on, like, different chests and stuff. And then, like, you can try and use certain keys and other, like, oh! Just realize, bloody my, bloody hard drive keeps making weird noises, it's really strange. Um, I'm gonna just flee from this battle? Yeah, okay. Just because I don't want to really chase and chase take on the bunny corns if I don't really have to. Um... Yeah, I'm not entirely too sure as to what I'm really aiming to do here now, to be fair. There's a horse over there! Um... Because... Am I now... Am I am I heading towards...? So, I, cause, okay, so there's two different paths which you can sort of leave out that kind of exit, per se. One direction sort of heads towards, um... Either the actual cave itself, and the other one actually heads towards uh, Trodane, which is uh, basically where our characters came from, if that makes sense, except for Yangus. Yangus, you sort of find out where he came from um, later on and stuff. But yeah, so, yeah. We should see that fucking damn sun. I, I do love how beefy Yangus gets really quickly. Um, 
We'll find later on once I think once Booker gets like a couple more like more multiple people spells or like multiple like sort of sizzle and frazzle and stuff like that. Um we sure just like a fire thing where they'll sort of become a bit more of a better duo. But to be fair, I might even avoid uh Booker from doing that at all, and I'll probably just like focus because we do get like a spell character later on. Who is uh, the prime character, like prime specimen of like a fantastic like spellcaster character? Because she's pretty incredible, like doing absolutely, absolutely fucking everything. Anyway, going Angus. Boom! Beautiful. -da -da -da. Twelve gold coins. Sweet. To be fair, we might even not actually need to actually go and specifically find the stuff. We might actually be able to afford it by the time we get back. Um. Anyway, so I do have an item on me which actually does teleport us like instantly back to. Is that the cave there? I think it might be. Um. Oh. Okay. So I'm just sort of trying to guess as to where is the sort of the best area for us to sort of start on, because. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Um. Yeah, I think I saw a bridge. Okay, I think I saw a bridge over here. I think it's probably the best way for us to go, because there's a um, there's a man who like lives on top of the cave, uh, which is the dungeon, which we should go see first, because he can give us quite a good like um, collection of stuff too. Use and stuff during the boss battle. Well, during the boss battle, maybe on the way to the boss battle, more say. Um, but he's, he's pretty, he's pretty top. He's pretty top. Okay. I can't remember the enemies being so weak. I'm not gonna lie, but I, I always find that with this game, like the first time I played, it, I always found it so tremendously difficult. Had no idea what I was doing and stuff. But like when you go back on these kind of games, it's always just so much easier. It's so weird. Like I don't know. Anyway, Candy Cat has been defeated. What? Go on, Yang, let's finish him off. Boom! I, I do love it when it does that, when it does that kind of static camera and just slowly pans both the characters kind of attack. I think it's absolutely fucking beautiful. It's quite cool later on when you actually get like more than one character, like maybe like three characters doing it at once. I think that's really fucking sick. Anyway, fucking sick. Wow, no, that's, that's my chavy language coming out just there. Alright, so if we cross this bridge just here. Yeah, this is actually the right bridge as well, because that's the that is the cave just the right there, little mound of dirt. Um, so the guy we need to see is actually lives on top of that. So we should be all good. Now, I don't know if we... Okay, I wasn't too sure if they were tough enough to handle one of those each or something like that, but I'm glad they are. We do have a mild potential that... Ooh, that could be very, very bad actually here, to be fair, because just because of how low Booker's health is, that could easily get him killed here, but... We'll see. I'd rather he didn't die, because if he did... It's going to cost a lot of money to get him back, but... Okay, which, no, we should be okay. I mean, even if he takes like a lot of uh, like heavy damage here, probably be like eight at the most. Oh wow. A Capuchin is determined to use sap. Wow, okay. He's like, I will use this spell. It must do something good. Uh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Dun dun dun. So this is something you'll find like happens on occasion. Um like some of the characters just randomly get like more um levels than the other one. Like say for example, we both have obviously both my uh, but Booker and Yangus have been playing exactly the same at this point. They both have been doing the same stuff in every single battle. Um they both received the exact same XP, but it seems that yeah, Yangus has leveled up first. Uh, I just want to double check because I see there's nothing just sort of okay. Ah, uh, that's the okay, that's cool. That's that's the okay, that's cool. Um I think that's where we have to continue on from over there and stuff. Uh, I don't I don't want to take on these bunny corns because I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm gonna have them both take on this capuchin. Uh, two is not too bad actually. Three's a little bit bad, but it's okay. Hey right, Yang, let's finish him off. Beautifully done. Alright. So now we can finally we can uh, mid battle heal. Okay, if we use this on Yang just to keep him going, and we'll just do a attack a bunny corn there. Quick! Booker uses medicinal herb. Go on, Yangus, you got this. Right in the face. Imagine attacked by like that fucking creature. That'd be terrifying. Anyway. Ooh! Oh, that was cheeky, that was. Alright. We should be good. Unless they do a smash of terrific fucking damage onto Booker, we should be okay. Nice. Point of damage, I like it. Nice done. There we go. I like it, I like it, I like it. Okay. Bushki. And. Okay, slight, slight Bushki back there, but boom! There we go. Alright. Burning experience. Book is leveled up. I like it. So, yes, yeah, so, I mean, later on in the game, guys and gals, obviously, as you probably can probably imagine, it comes a little bit like you get a lot more space down how often you do uh, level up, per se. Ah, yes! I did not expect to learn that so soon. That's absolutely fantastic. Okay. Um, that'll come in tremendous helpful, that will. So, quick, sweet, 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 sweet. I'll tell you what, actually, I'm going to quickly use my very first heal spell right now. Gone heal, I haven't gone to MP. Never mind, I guess I can go fuck myself. Alright, that's fine. We'll be good. I was going to use it myself, just kind of get my uh, health a little bit higher, but it's okay. Um, so yes, if we kind of, we can sort of curve around and sort of pop up onto the top of there. Oh, fantastic. Give me those beautiful slimes. 
dun -dun 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 -dun. I can actually realize recently, like, me actually playing this is kind of like a celebration of the kind of 3DS launch. I didn't mean it to be. I didn't actually mean this actually would, like, this start going at the same time as the 3DS launch is so common, uh, so close to coming out. But, yeah, I realized that the other day. I was like, oh, yeah. I was like, damn some. I don't actually have a 3DS myself. Or I was like, I would consider buying it just because you can play as Mori and Reds coming out, like in the in the new game. And which, if you guys have never played Dragon Quest before, you might be like, "Who the hell are they?" But we'll find. We'll, we actually do meet them quite later on. They're actually fucking amazing characters. But um, yeah, I was very surprised to see that though that you could play as those two. I was like, okay. I was like, that's a cool concept. But I'm kind of surprised they actually added that in there. Um, okay, nice done. Nice done. Nice done. Nice done. Man, these guys are falling to our bloody knees. I mean, these are these, like that bunker one was one enemy. I was like, well, I'm a little nervous about fighting them again. I'm, I'm not going to lie. Um, now, I, I have to admit, I know for a fact, if we go into the dungeon, there's a sword in there which is perfect for Booker, which we can grab and then come back out. Ooh. Oh, no, we can't handle him yet. So basically, if we ever see an enemy like that floating around when we can actually physically see them, um, they're kind of like, oh, sh shakes, Booker could die here. Okay, that wasn't good. Alright, let's, uh, let's straight away use a medicinal herb on Booker here. Um, but yeah, so basically, yeah, there's, there's kind of tougher enemies there. They actually have a lot more kind of, like, rewards from these- Fuck! Oh, you pieces of shit! God damn it, I was doing- I was doing- Oh, fuck! I probably had to- say, Oh, titties! I was- I was- I've been way too boisterous on how, like, confident I was in my, uh... I'm sure Yangus- Yangus could take these guys out, in all fairness. Maybe not if they're doing that much damage. Okay, well, there's one. Um, I'm, I'm determined he can, he can handle this. He can handle this. I'm gonna, actually, okay. Mm, I, I, don't know, I don't know why I'm... Okay. Hang on. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, his, his, his speed isn't quick enough. Oh, he's going to die. He's going to die. Oh, no. Why did I just book her? Why the fuck did I do that? Fuck. Oh, titties. That was in terror. Oh. That was an extremely bad move for me. Why the fuck did I do that? Ah, oh, shit. Okay, that was... <laughs> Yay! I really should have done that. Really should have used the bloody thing. My coins have been halved. Fuck. Alright, that's okay. Um... I tell you what, guys and gals, it's actually a perfect time for me to actually kind of call this kind of like a stopping point for now. So what I'll do, guys and gals, is I'm gonna just during this kind of break point per se for now, I'm going to quickly go around and sort of like just revamp up my uh, uh, gold again because I really do need to kind of keep that same point. If not, I'm not really going to get that far at all. So back down to eh, 90 gold is actually too bad, but I mean at the same time I'd rather kind of keep that up to the same point it was before. So I'll try and get back up to 180, um, see if I can get some levels on my bad boys as well. I won't go too intense, so I won't be like tremendously like level 20 by the time you guys next see me. Um, but yeah, so guys and gals, thanks so much for watching another episode of Dark, uh, not Dark, the Dark Cloud, uh, Dragon Quest 8. Once again, I'm the last from Avatar, and you guys have been amazingly beautiful and perfect as ever. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. So, guys and gals, thanks so much for watching. I was from Aravdor. Once again, you guys have been beautiful and perfect, amazing as ever. Say la vie, hasta vista, and goodbye. Oh, ciao!